With so many beauty options available today from cosmetics, makeup, creams, surgeries, all sorts of things to spend your money on, it's easy to forget that the number one most important factor to us looking and feeling beautiful is the flow of vital energy throughout our body. When we're vital and, and the energy is flowing well, it's the difference between feeling alive and fresh after a good night's sleep or feeling groggy, drained and tired after a sleepless night. And we all know everybody looks the best, looks the most beautiful and is the most glowing when they're fresh and vital. So this is exactly what we're going to focus on in today's class. We're going to be doing a Kriya for getting that energy flowing, filling us with vital energy, removing any blockages and stagnation and leaving us not only looking but feeling beautiful. If that sounds good to you, grab your yoga mat and let's get ready to practice. So find your way into a comfortable seated position. We'll start by tuning in, setting the space for the practice. So whatever that means for you, a comfortable seat where you can press down into the sits bones, reach up to the crown, roll the shoulders back and down so the chest is open and relaxed. Hands can be on the knees down or up, it's up to you. Then I invite you to close the eyes, turn inside, and take a deep inhalation through the nose. Then open the mouth and sigh it out. Oh, soften the body, soften the mind. Let's do that again. Deep inhalation. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Oh, as you sigh, feel those vibrations in the chest, bringing you more into the body, more into the present moment. One more time. This time we're going to hold the breath. Deep inhalation. Sniff in even more, even more, and hold it. Hold it and relax into this space for three, two, one. Sigh it out. Oh. Sitting with the eyes closed, attention inside. Take a moment to notice where you are now before the practice. Where are you? How do you feel? What's going on right now before we start the class? Are there any thoughts or feelings that are alive for you? Any sensations in the body? Whatever's there, no need to judge it. It's not good or bad. We just want to be aware of what is there. And in this space of awareness and acceptance, we're going to tune in with the Adi Mantra. We'll chant Ong Namo Gurudev Namo. I bow to the collective consciousness for inspiration. I bow to the Guru within for guidance. Ong Namo Gurudev Namo. We'll chant this three times. Sitting nice and tall, bring the hands together in front of the heart. Take a deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation. Inhale to chant. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo inhalation, suspend the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha, contract the muscles of the genitals and anus, turn the eyes up to the middle of the forehead and balance this energy in the third eye chakra. And release, relax, sitting with the eyes closed, feeling the resulting resonance of tuning in with the Adi Mantra. 
calm, centered, awakened. Hmm, beautiful. We're going to start opening the energetic channels now by performing the breath of fire. Breath of fire is a fast breathing technique, sort of like a dog, <sighs> but through the nose. We just want to make the inhalation and exhalation equal. It's a non-stop breathing. You can go slower. You can go faster. The idea is just to pump the energy. This is going to help to open the energetic channels, preparing us for the practice. And it's also helping to remove stagnation, heavy, dense energies from our being. So as we do this breathing, to, to go into this idea of getting this vital energy, this beautification, really try to visualize throwing out the heavy negative energy you don't need and bringing in this fresh, illuminated, vital energy. Okay, L picture yourself glowing as you do this pranayama. Okay, we're going to do this for one minute. Afterwards, we're going to take a deep inhalation. We're going to hold the breath. We're going to squeeze Mula Bandha, contracting the genitals and anus, and focus in the middle of the forehead, sending this energy up to Ajna Chakra. We're going to be doing this throughout all the practices, or most of the practices today, so you know what's happening. Okay, so let's prepare. We'll do one ventilation breath, deep inhalation, relaxing exhalation, and begin the breath of fire all through the nose. <laughs> Keep breathing, picture yourself filling with vital energy, the heaviness flowing away, feeling vibrant, radiant. <laughs> Deep inhalation, hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha, turn the eyes up to the middle of the forehead, visualize sending this energy up, up. Bring a little smile to your face even. And release. Relax, sitting with the eyes closed, attention inside. Feeling little tingles through the body as we activate and purify the nervous system, open the energetic channels and remove any heavy, stuck or stagnant energy from our body. Hmm. And gently coming back. We're going to work a little more physically now, waking up the spine. The spine is the central channel, Shashumna Nadi, where all of the energy flows from the mind to the body and from the body to the mind. So we always want to take care of our spine. We're going to come onto our hands and knees, all fours, a cat-cow position. And we're going to do inhaling, opening, exhaling, rounding. <clears throat> you can go at your pace with this one. We're going to do this for two minutes. So don't start really fast. You can start really slow, gentle. We're still cold. And then, uh, as it feels comfortable, you can pick up to a more powerful sniff and throw type breath. Okay, so let's begin. Hands are directly under the shoulders, knees directly under the hips. Inhaling, looking up. Exhale, rounding, gaze towards the navel. Inhaling, opening the front of the body. Exhaling, opening the back of the body. And moving in sync with the breath. I invite you to close your eyes. And really visualize the movement of the spine with this one. As you inhale, really visualize the flexation of the spine. As you exhale, the rounding of the spine. With each breath, with each movement, opening the energetic channels that run along the spine. The harmonization between the mind and body. The revitalization. This is where this radiance comes from. This is what brings beauty. You know, we say in this yoga, healthy spine is a healthy mind. 
Because when we can move and breathe, man, we feel good about ourselves. Halfway through, let's pick up the pace a little bit more. And deep inhalation, open the chest, open the chin, hold the breath, squeeze Mulabanda, gaze to the middle of the forehead. Exhale all the breath out, round the spine, tuck the chin, squeeze Mulabanda. Inhale and release, sit back on the heels. Sitting with the eyes closed, attention inside. Feeling the resulting vibrations of the practice. Tingles all along the spine, waking up the central channel. The con connection between the mind and the rest of the body. Mm. Beautiful. Gently coming back. We're going to make our way into a wide-legged position now with the feet open wide. I recommend them ha having them wide but not as wide as possible. We want to be able to move a little bit in this position. <clears throat> what we're going to do is called the life nerve stretch. There's a, the nerve that runs along the back of the leg is really connected with Muladhara Chakra, our, our root, our, vital, our source of vital energy. Uh, so we're going to be stretching this, not just to wake up the legs but to bring in that vital energy. We're going to do this for two minutes. For the first minute, we're just going to be going forward and back. So exhaling down towards one knee, inhaling to center, exhaling down towards the other knee. Uh, if mobility is difficult for you because you're sitting like this and you're like, there's no way I can bend forward, take a block or cushion, place it under the, under the sits bones to tilt the pelvis forward. This is the key to all forward folds is that you tilt the pelvis forward. So if you're finding difficulty, Put a pillow or a folded towel or something behind your hips. After one minute of like this, we're going to go a little bit more intense. We're going to have the arms up and we're going to exhale, reaching forward for the feet. I'm going to try to not hit this here. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then we'll finish with the arms straight up, holding the breath, squeezing Mula Bandha, visualizing, sending the energy all the way up and encouraging that by turning the eyes up with Shambhavi Mudra. Then we'll relax. Okay. So let's begin. Two minutes, inhale center, exhale down to the left, inhale center, exhale down to the right. Again, start at whatever pace is comfortable for you. You can always pick up the pace as you awaken the legs, the lower back, as everything starts to feel more fluid. Try to keep the feet flexed. That means to pulling the toes towards you, not allowing the feet to be really Flappy, pressing out to the heels. And we're halfway through now, so we're going to inhale the arms up, exhale down. Enabling us to get a little more into the upper body, making this whole body working for this practice.
You're doing great. Last 30 seconds. And deep inhalation, arms straight up. Hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha. Turn the eyes up, reach up, reach up. Physically and energetically send everything up. And release. Lower the arms. Sitting with the eyes closed. Attention inside. Feeling the activation of energy channels from the heels all the way up the back of the body to the back of the head. Increase in vital energy, stabilizing of the mind. Beautiful. Gently coming back. We're gonna find our way into a cross-legged position now. You can take any cross-legged position that's available for you. Or if it's available, uh, I would encourage you to take a version of Siddhasana, where we're placing the heel into the perineum or the opening of the yoni. Uh, and then the other heel can be in front. Or if you want to take it even further, you can go into what's known as Guptasana, where the other heel presses just above the genitals. So uh, energetically, we're, act we're stimulating here Muladhara and Svarasthana Chakra. If you can't get this heel there, it requires some flexibility. Don't worry about it. But if you can press... Muladhara, the perineum for the men or the opening of the yoni for the women, that's great. Otherwise, any comfortable seated position. And here we're going to perform Maha Yoga Pranayama, the full yogic breath. It's a three-part breath where we're inhaling first into the belly, then into the chest. Then we're going to lift the shoulders as we sniff the air all the way up. The idea here is to expand our lung capacity to really take as much energy, as much prana as we can, and allow that to enrich our system. You know, when, when we take the adequate amount of energy from the environment around us, this is when we're vital. When we're breathing really shallow or we've been in like a polluted area or smoking, we're not very vital because it's, it's, it's blocking the energy from flowing to us. So we really try to open, really try to take as much energy as we can. Then we're only gonna hold the breath in for three to five seconds. It's not that we're really trying to retain the breath. We just wanna take as much in and then relax, let it out, and then again. So we will inhale first to the belly, then the chest. Then we lift the shoulders to get that last bit of breath into what's known as the clavicular lung. We hold the breath in for a moment, and then we relaxing exhalation. Try to go as empty as you can. We'll go into the next one. Okay, we're going to do this for three minutes. You might get a little bit dizzy. That's a good sign that there's lots of energy coming in. So don't worry. Afterwards, we will go into something else and we will be happy to have that extra energy. Okay? Sitting nice and tall, deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation. If this is new to you, it's good to place one hand on the belly, one hand on the chest, so you can feel these different areas. Let's begin. Inhale to the belly, to the chest. Sniff the shoulders up. Hold for a few seconds. Exhale. Really push the air out so you get empty. And again, belly, chest, shoulders up. Pull, retain three to five seconds. Exhale. Completely empty and continue on your own.
or halfway through, keep breathing and try to really visualize taking in extra energy, vitalizing yourself and expanding your capacity, taking in more energy than you're used to. Let's keep going. And take your final deep inhalation and hold it. Hold, squeeze Mula Bandha, contract the genitals and anus, send the energy all the way up, turn the eyes up to the middle of the forehead, send it up, send it up. And relax. Eyes closed, attention inside. Feeling the expansion of your energetic capacity, expansion in the mind, clearing of the thoughts, allowing for new experiences. And now we're going to use this extra energy we've cultivated to empower us through the frog. Frog is a very uh, powerful, dynamic practice, and it's really good to increase our battery, our vital energy. It's purifying the energetic channels. It's uh, strengthening the cardiovascular system. All of these things are keys to being young and vibrant, youthful. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to come into the frog position, where we're in a squatting position. The heels are off the floor, and ideally we want the heels touching. Okay, the feet are going to stay in this position the whole time. So we're on the toes and the heels are touching. The fingers are on the floor in front of us. And what we're going to do in this position is we're actually going to have the chin tucked to the, this hollow in the, in the throat the whole time. We're going to be inhaling up and exhaling down. Okay, but we try to keep the chin tucked. If you're familiar with Jalan Harabandha, it's a small, a slight Jalan Harabandha. Not so strong that we can't breathe because we want to breathe here. What we're going to do is we're going to do this movement up and down 10 times. On the 10th one, we're going to stop. We're going to take three breaths. And then we're going to inhale. We're going to hold the breath in. Squeeze Mula Bandha, Channel this energy up. It's going to be a test because uh, the heart's going to be beating. So we try to really use this energy we've accumulated to send it up. We're going to try to hold the breath in for 30 seconds. Now, if you can't, don't push it. It's not about uh, hurting yourself or going to an extreme level of discomfort. But try to relax into it. Squeeze Mula Bandha and send that energy up. If you need to breathe, release the breath. It's not a problem. Okay, so let's all get into position. Heels are up. Knees are open. Fingers are on the floor in front of us. We're not going to do it super fast today, but fast enough to be a little challenging. Okay, so drop the chin to the chest, exhale, inhale up, exhale down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Deep inhalation, exhale, in. Exhale, last one in, 
Hold the breath, squeeze Mula Bandha, turn the eyes up to the middle of the forehead, gazing up. And release. Normal breathing, feeling the energy moving through the body. Mm. Beautiful. We're going to do that one more time. If holding the breath for 30 seconds was a stretch for you, just hold the breath for as long as is comfortable. Because this time we're going to do 26 frogs, okay? <laughs> You're going to love it. Let's begin. Inhale. Exhale. Drop the chin to the chest. And inhale up. Exhale down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Stay down, deep inhalation. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale to retain, hold the breath, squeeze Mulavanda, gaze up. Send the energy up, send it up. And release. Come down to sitting. Legs out in front. We're going to go directly into our last pose, Paschimottanasana. So move the flesh back from the sits bones or put that block or cushion behind you if you need. Feet are flexed, hip distance apart. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Coming into Paschimottanasana, placing the hands on the feet or shins or ankles, wherever is available. We're going to stay here for three minutes. Hmm. Return to normal breathing, go inside, and drop your awareness down, down to the base of the spine, Muladhara Chakra. Feel the energy we've built through the body, this cycling of energy from Muladhara Chakra, our inner battery, our source of vitality strength and stability. Slowing the breath, slowing the mind, finding the stability of the posture.
and gently releasing the pose. We're going to make our way down to Shavasana to allow this energy to balance. Coming down to lying on your back, palms facing up, feet open to the sides. And take this moment for you to let everything go. Allow the energies to settle, the mind and body to harmonize, to completely relax.
lying here completely relaxed, mentally affirm to yourself, I am beautiful, I am vibrant, I love myself and my life. I am grateful for this body. I am grateful for this mind. Thank you. Thank you. And gently coming back to your body preparing to reawaken with little movements of the fingers and toes. And gentle rotations of the wrists and ankles, dropping the head from side to side to release the neck. And take a deep inhalation, reach the arms overhead, big stretch. Oh, hug the knees into the chest to release the lower back, rocking side to side to massage the spine. And we're going to rock forward and back from the hips to the shoulders, massaging the spine, getting that energy moving again. And rocking up to a comfortable seated position. Sitting with the eyes closed, tension turned inside. And take this final moment to notice where you are now, how you feel in your body, your energy, your emotions. Notice what's changed from when we started the practice until now. And I invite you to bring one hand over the heart, and the other hand over the heart. Go inside and say thank you. Thank you for this moment to be with yourself. Focus on your health, your love, your radiance. Such a beautiful gift of self-love. Thank you. Hmm. We'll close today's class by chanting one time the mantra Satnam, I am truth. Bring the hands together in front of the heart. Sitting nice and tall, deep inhalation. Relaxing exhalation. Inhale to chant. Satnam, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Namaste. Mm. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the class. I hope you enjoyed this practice. Uh, let me know in the comment section below how it was for you. And if you'd like to experience more classes with me and Clelia, take your practice further. We now have our new website open where you can join our membership, access exclusive content, advanced practices, specialized teachings, as well as specific mini workshops and courses. Uh, if you'd like to check it out, right now we're giving a free seven-day trial. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that said, thank you so much, guys. I can't wait to see you in the next class. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.